Welcome to Battersea Library. I'm Daniel Andrews, the Partnership Manager for Wandsworth Libraries, and today I'll be taking you through 130 years of Battersea Library's history. Whilst the building and our services have changed over the years, our main purpose as a library is to help customers find the information they need, to encourage and support literacy and learning, and to provide a space where everybody feels welcome. I'm currently standing in the main library, which has seen quite a number of changes over the years. The Victorian part of the library is designed by E. W. Mountford in 1888 and opened in 1890. Mountford would later design Battersea Town Hall, which is now Battersea Art Centre. But the history of Battersea Library actually starts a little earlier. The first librarian, Lawrence Inkster, was employed in 1887. A temporary reading room was opened at 346 Battersea Park Road, with another reading room opened opposite the Latchmere Baths. On entering the library after it was first built, you would have found a magazine room, and a newsroom. The library's initial design included a librarian's flat, which was not unusual at the time. What is now the library and archives office was once the librarian's living room. What was the kitchen and dining room are now archive stores. It was reported that women were the majority of borrowers in Battersea Library, and initially they had their own reading room in the library. This is now an archive store. The basement also included some accommodation and basic facilities for a caretaker. Battersea Library has extensive basements which now house our collection of World War I and World War II material. This runs to several thousand volumes. A short time later, in 1897, this extension was built to the Lending Library. Uh, we know through its time it's been used for a variety of purposes, most often as a children's library, which is what it's used for today. Perhaps the biggest change to the building was the construction of this reference library in 1925, which is now listed by English Heritage. This part of the library was designed by Henry Hyams, who had lived throughout Europe before settling in Devon. The son of a Hackney publican, Hyams spent most of his time in Wandsworth Jail during World War I as a result of his pacifism. This is one area of the building which has changed very little since it was built. The reference library's old entrance can be seen from Altenburg Gardens. The Latin inscription above the door reads, not for me, not for you, but for us. A fitting motto for any library. 